If you're looking to start a successful online business this year, I'm gonna go through the four things that you must start doing as soon as possible. Let's go. What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam and what I do here is break down various different tips and tricks when it comes to making money online. But in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is going through the four things that you must start doing if you wanna have a successful online business this year. These are the things that I've been doing with all of the online businesses that I've been running. I've done various different online businesses, whether it's e-commerce, affiliate marketing, even this YouTube channel, you know, various different online businesses and I've been able to leave my full-time job. And the four things that I'm gonna talk about in today's video are the common things that I've had to do when it came to becoming successful with all of the online businesses that I've been running. So make sure you stick around to the end, there's gonna be so much value in it. And if you do find any value in the video, don't forget to press the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well, hit the bell notification. Let's get right into it. So before I get into the four main things that you need to start doing this year to have a successful online business, the first thing that you must do is that you need to be decisive on what business you're going to do. Now, as you guys know, we live in a day and age where there's so many different business opportunities that come up every single day. Even when you're just scrolling on YouTube, you probably come across so many different opportunities to make money from cryptocurrencies, NFTs, you know, the metaverse, so many different new things that are popping up every single day. And that's why you need to make sure that you're decisive on whatever business you're going to do. You know, give yourself the whole year to see some sort of success from whatever business you decide to do. So when it came to starting my online business many years ago, I fell victim to this myself. You know, I wasn't able to decide on a particular business. I was jumping from different business idea to different business idea. And because of that, I wasn't able to see any sort of success. So make sure that this year, now that it's January, that you make sure to be decisive on whatever business that you're going to do. So when it comes to my own business goals this year, I'm gonna be splitting my focus between growing my e-commerce business, you know, my eBay business and my Shopify business, and also focusing on growing my YouTube business as well. So I'm not sure if you saw my community tab the other day, but my aim is to get to at least 30,000 subscribers this year. So that's what I'm kind of putting my focus into. You know, I'm gonna be doing a lot of work with this channel, upgrading a lot of stuff. So make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss the future content. Now, one of the first things that you need to start doing as soon as possible, if you wanna have a better chance of having a success successful online business is to read more. This is something that I did in the early stages of my business. Now, I was someone that didn't necessarily like to read. In school, I wasn't really a big time reader, but as I got a little bit older, I started to realize that one of the common traits with a lot of successful people is that they read every single day. I believe that I heard Warren Buffett and Bill Gates read every single day and they're billionaires. So I thought, you know what, let me at least attempt to read various different books and see if it will have some sort of impact on my life. And fast forward right now, I've been able to leave my nine to five job and build the business that I love. And I believe that reading has played a part in the success that I've had over the years. And as you can see right now, I've got various different books around me. But the thing that I've personally done when it comes to reading books is that I've either got recommendations from people that I look up to, you know, whether they're on YouTube and they're giving book recommendations, or I try and find a book that solves a particular problem that I have. So one of the first books that I personally read is The Secret. So this book changed my life. So I would advise that you read this book as soon as possible. Now, the reason why this was the first book that I read is because it teaches you mainly about belief and it gets your mind in check and it allows you to realize that you can create whatever desired life that you have for yourself. So this is the first book that I read that got me on the path of building my business. Now you can watch the movie on Netflix. They've got a movie on Netflix, I believe. I'm not sure if it's still there or not, but you can either watch the movie or you can read this book or you can just get any book that you feel is gonna help you at whatever position you are right now in your life. You don't necessarily need to read The Secret. You know, I read The Secret because I wasn't really sure on what path to take. I didn't really have a lot of faith in the businesses that I was doing at the time. But once I read The Secret, it allowed me to be a little bit more decisive on picking a particular business model. And as you guys know, I've been able to grow that now to a high level. So I got to give thanks to this book. But again, there's so many different books that you can read depending on what position you are right now in your life. If you want to make a full video breaking down the top five or 10 different books that I've read and all of the different lessons that I learned in each book, then put it in the comments down below do the book video and I'll make that video as soon as possible. And a quick tip when it comes to reading is that you don't actually have to read physical books. A lot of the books that I've read are physical books, as you can see behind me, but a lot of them are also audio books as well. So if you're not really good at reading or you don't really have the time to sit down and flick through pages, you can always download an app called Audible. So as you can see right here, I use Audible to listen to a lot of different audio books. And the audio book that I'm listening to right now is Brian Tracy, The Power of Self-Discipline. So that's the book that I'm listening to now, but you know, I've completed a lot of books, as you can see right here, 
here. I've got so many different books that I've listened to and I listen to them quite often as well. Let me just jump into my library. So as you can see right here, these are most of the audiobooks that I've actually listened to. And the thing about audiobooks is that when you complete them, you can always listen to them again and again. That's what I do, especially if I found that it had some sort of impact on my life. So the next thing that I'm going to be discussing that I've been doing over the years when it comes to giving myself the best possible chances of having the clearest mind so that I'm able to build the best business possible is to eat healthy foods. So this is something that I've heard from a lot of my mentors. They always talk about the fact that if you eat healthier foods, you're going to have a healthier mind state. And the healthier your mind state is, the more you're going to be able to make the best decisions for your business. So around five years ago, I actually made the decision to be a vegan full time. So I was plant based. I didn't eat no meat, no dairy, no fish, nothing like that. I was strictly plant based for five years. And I do believe that me going plant based did have an impact on my businesses because I was able to focus a lot more clearer. So I'm not necessarily saying that you need to go plant based, vegan or vegetarian for you to have a successful business. But I'm simply saying that the healthier you eat, the more you're going to be able to focus. Focus. So that means even cutting out things like fizzy drinks or sweets, foods that don't necessarily have any nutritional value. Cut those foods out so that your body is able to function in the best possible way. You're going to realize that your sleep is going to get a lot better, your focus is going to get a lot better, and you're going to be able to wake up in the morning and go after your goals in the best way possible. So when I look back over the years of me being able to build successful online businesses, the next thing I've realized that has been a common trait amongst all of the businesses that I've been building is the fact that I set goals every single month, every single quarter, every single week. I've always got a set list of goals and objectives that I'm working towards so I know exactly where I'm going. So with all of the online businesses that I'm currently running, whether it's my e-com stores, my affiliate marketing, you know, my YouTube channel, whatever it is I'm doing, I always have set goals so I know exactly what I'm trying to achieve. And not only do I set goals, I also set objectives as well. And objectives are simply action steps that you're going to be taking every single day towards your goal. So I'm not going to go too much into detail into how I set goals and objectives because I've already made a step-by-step -step video breaking down exactly how I set goals every single year, every single month every single quarter and if it wasn't for me setting goals and objectives I will still be working at my full-time job right now so I gotta give thanks to the fact that I found out about goal setting and objective setting as well so make sure you watch that video straight after this video so jumping straight into the last thing that I'm going to be talking about that you need to start doing this year to see a lot of success is to start taking inspired action and when I use the word inspired essentially it comes down to either working hard or working smart over the years of me trying to build online businesses I've come to the conclusion that you need to work smarter than working hard now of course there's always going to be an element of working hard when it comes to starting up a business but you need to make sure that when you are taking some form of action towards your goals and your dreams of building your online business that you've probably thought about whether or not this is something that's actually going to yield some sort of results and this is something that I learned in one of my books called Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy so this is a book that teaches you about taking action every single day waking up and making sure that you do the biggest thing that is going to bring the most results and when it comes to doing the biggest thing every single day you need to look at all of your objectives and see which one is going to yield the biggest results and then do that one first and get that one out of the way because one of the main principles that this book taught me many years ago is that not every single action that we take in our business is going to have the biggest results so you need to make sure that you look and figure out what actions you can take that are going to bring the best results with your business so using my youtube channel as an example just so that you guys understand the only thing that's going to help me achieve my goals is if i record videos so that's what i'm doing right now i'm recording a video you know i can't just lay in bed and you know write out scripts or do something else i need to record videos that's going to bring the biggest result and that's the reason why i'm doing it editing videos is another big thing that I do there's no point me researching topics all day every single day because that's not going to bring the biggest results publishing videos every single day is going to bring results and that's exactly what I'm doing right now or even when it comes to my eBay stores inspired action could be me improving my listings you know improving my listings is going to have the biggest result because listings is the thing that the customer is going to see before they actually make a purchase from my eBay store or maybe it's even looking for winning products and finding winning products or paying suppliers for those winning products there's certain action steps that are going to have more results than others. So you need to find some time, sit down, write down all of your goals, all of your objectives, all of the action steps that you can take and make sure that you do something every single day that is going to have the biggest result possible. This is something that I've been doing with all of my online businesses and it's something that I'm going to continuously keep doing this year as well. I've got so many more videos coming out real soon that's going to break down various different tips and tricks when it comes to starting an online business this year. So make sure that you like the video if you found any value in it and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss those future videos. Videos. And if you want to watch a previous video that I did last week where I broke down how I set goals and my full step-by-step -step goal setting strategy for this year, then click the link above. Watch that video straight after this video. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.